What's the crack, lads? We are back, and we're back with another Player of the Week review. So, if you've missed my earlier video, please do check that out. We cover every single thing new in the game in a, sh well, I'll say a short video, probably like a 10-minute video that covers everything in every bit of detail that you want, shows you everything, including a couple of things you might have missed. We also did a 7.5-hour stream, so make sure and check that out as well. While we still have a bit of energy left, we are going to be going in and looking at the Player of the Weeks. Right, so I'm going to start off straight away with taking a look at these Player of the Weeks, which are, let me just hide my screen here, a fraction. So these are the players, right? We've got Tenas in goals, we've got Stuani, we've got Endo, Tomori, Gatti, uh, Diaz, Gordon, Felix, Colwell, Barella, and Odegaard. The only players that really kind of hit it for me here, right? As we get rid of the goalie, um, who's just going to be an average goalkeeper, I think. Yes, he's got 88 reflexes, but unless you've downloaded the game in the last week, right? If you've downloaded the game in the last week or two weeks, or even today, you've just tried the contract or tried the, the new content, um, you will have these goalkeepers that will be quite decent, but he doesn't have long throw, which is a player skill there. If you're kind of brand new to the game, I definitely recommend check out my Ultimate Beginner's Guide. It's one of my most popular videos. And then any questions that you have, head on over to the channel and uh, get in touch with me or on, you know, Discord or Twitter or whatever, right? Or in the live streams. Just an average goalkeeper, but he will go into the 90s now that they fixed the manager issue with the reflexes there as well. We also have Endo. So Endo has actually got super sub and fighting spirit. Um, he scored a goal at the, the weekend or the other day when he got the goal uh, winning Goal winning goal? Yeah, the, the winner, the goal winner. Very, very good, solid defensive anchorman. Has 74 acceleration. Speed will go up over 70 with the manager boost. And of course, he's got super sub, which is very rare for a defensive minded player, especially a DMF. And of course, he does have a rating this week, as all of these players do have, right? I'm not going to spend too much time on this guy. He's a fox in a box. He's slow. He's a dime a dozen. You can buy Giroud or buy somebody like that. Any of those players will do a job for you. This guy is pretty average at that. He has super sub as well, which makes him a little bit better, but I definitely wouldn't really recommend him. We also have Gatti here as well, who's down as an extra front man. So he's not that aggressive, even though he's got 91 aggression. I've actually used this card uh, or a very similar card to this on my Xbox profile. Listen, if you are a newcomer, all of these cards are going to be an improvement. For this, I wouldn't be spinning for him. The only players you might ask me, right? And I'm just going to go in straight away and just do a spin, right? We're just going to do a spin for you guys. We did get donations on our live stream. Let's see who we actually do get. This is the brand new um, pack opening animation that you have. There's different animations for different players. If you open a 10 box or a 1 box. And of course, we are going to get Endo. And he is going to be the Liverpool defensive midfielder anchorman. Not a bad pull at all. We might do one at the end of the video as well, so keep it locked here if you guys want to see that while we review the rest of the players. But genuinely, look, I do feel like that this pack is all about um, Barella, right? Barella and, and Colwell are really, really strong cards. I would say that Tamori is quite decent as well. He's like a better version of Gatti. He's got the really, really nice tackling stat. The acceleration and speed are quite decent. He doesn't have blocker. And because of these player of the weeks, you can't train blocker onto these cards either. It's a slight concern if you are looking to make a meta, meta style. Um, Gordon and Brahim Diaz. One is just really pacey. You've got the 90 ball control, 93 acceleration, and 88 balance. While Gordon has got 98 acceleration, 87 dribbling, but only 76 balance. So again, you've got kind of two similar players but very different with how they're going to handle on the pitch. Gordon has actually got a face there as well. He's got some nice player skills, of course, long-range shooting, one-touch pass, dipping shot. And you've got Brahim Diaz, who has got soul control, one-touch pass, Rabona, double touch. Very, very nice. Missing that flip-flap for the ball roll, but other than that, a very solid card. I would probably give it to this guy for overall because the balance is going to be in the 90s and you're going to have dribbling, ball control, and, and acceleration all in the 90s as well when you finally train him up. Felix and me don't really get on. He had a brilliant whole player type card or attack and midfielder type card. This is more of a pacey card, but his balance is a little bit weak because he is quite light. His, his weight is quite deep, is quite poor. Um, he's only 70 kg and that does matter with the physicality now. You might notice players just bouncing off each other. I think that they will fix that a little bit because it's very animation driven rather than stats driven at the moment. But he's got double touch and soul control, one touch pass as well. He's got uh, chip shot control, true pass and outside curler. 
I would probably play him as an attacking midfielder because he doesn't have that blister and pace and he doesn't have amazing balance, but his passing is quite decent. And even though he's down as a Roman flank, he doesn't really have the stamina to be up and down the wings. Uh, so I'd probably play him there. Colwell, he's down as a left back, but he can also play centre back. Very, very solid. If you've played with the likes of Reese James or Trent, you're going to get a similar experience with him. Not as good as Wambasaka though, even though his attack and aggression and speed will all be in the 90s when you get the manager boost, right? None of these cards have boosters. They just are what they are here. You can't give blocker to Colwell either, which I do think is a must. That's why I prefer Wambasaka, and I prefer to play an attack and left back, right? So moving on to the last two players, Odegaard. Arsenal fans will obviously know how good he is. I feel like this card is a little bit underrated, even though he's a 96 overall. He's got excellent player skills, one-touch pass. He also has true pass and pinpoint and outside curler. No-look pass is very unique skill, like Ronaldinho has that as well. But he doesn't have low lofted pass, which is a small bit of a pity. He does have brilliant dribbling and passing stats. And his acceleration isn't too bad. Physical contact isn't great. Um, defensively, aggression is, is nice for an attacking midfielder. I would just be playing him in an AMF role. I wouldn't play him anywhere else. He doesn't have an engine on him, really. His speed and acceleration aren't enough, and he doesn't really win the ball back that um, effectively. So, yeah. So, top pick is going to be Barella. And I think this is going to be one of the best and most popular cards if people do end up getting him. Now, his stats aren't as good as what you can get other cards on this uh, pack. I would say that this is a fairly disappointing player of the week. I wouldn't really spin um for this unless you really need to upgrade your squad quickly fairly decent stats on everything but a master of all trades he is not because he doesn't have any brilliant brilliant stats on this card that you're going to have to say yeah i definitely need to get him right just a very solid kind of whole player style built card but he's down as or a box to box style ca type card but he's down as a whole player so i do think it's a good card if you don't have any other version of barella Barella is one of the best players in the game by a mile. He's one of the best box-to-box -box in the games by a mile. But I feel like that card is a little bit weaker, right? So my top picks on whether or not it's worth to spin it, I would say, yeah, I'm happy enough with Endo. I think Endo is going to be a beastly DMF. He doesn't have blocker, which is the only slight on this card, but he's got everything else perfectly. Um, I would also say that if you are going to be thinking of spinning, I would say that Colwell and Barella are worth spinning for if you do ha not have those cards if you're looking for a defensive left back defensive fullbacks are very rare especially those that have got interception man marking and area superiority that are tall you know what i mean like wambasak is good but he's not tall he's strong but he's or he's fast but he's not super strong and, and physical on the ball so you kind of have everything going for him with this card and plus he's got one touch pass to get you out of difficulty so um yeah, that is it for me. I will be back later. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Like and subscribe the channel, and I'll catch you in a bit. Peace.